This conference will now be recorded. If you guys remember, I have shown different exceptions. I have shown different exceptions. Like null pointer, arithmetic, index auto bound exception, array index of auto bound exception, interrupted exceptions. I have shown different different exceptions, right? These are all predefined. They're all predefined. Let's take an example. Your application is banking application. Yours is a banking application. And you are trying to withdraw your money. And you are trying to withdraw your money. When you are withdrawing your money, there are no sufficient funds in it. There are no sufficient funds in it. Let's say you are trying to withdraw five hundred dollars when there is only four hundred dollars in it. When there is a four hundred dollars in it. So that kind of scenario, I want to throw ins insufficient funds in your account or sub such kind of exception. My own application specific exception. So what you will do? You don't have that exception is defined already. So you have to write your own exception. You have to write your own exception. How will I write my own exception? Very simple. You will create a class by extending exception. Why should I extend exception? As we discussed yesterday, exception class is a pair into all the exceptions. I have shown it also yesterday. Exception is the pair into all the exceptions. All the exceptions. So, if you want to get exception functionality exception behavior or exception uh, thing we need to we need to extend the class called exception understand guys if you want to get exception as kind of functionality we will go ahead and do extend the exception and what type of exception you are looking for I want exception along with the message I want to print or message and cause message and some other thing. So you have to define those things here as a arguments in the constructor. As a arguments in the constructor. Once you define your exception class. That exception class you will make use wherever you want. Wherever you want. Like, look at here. I'm doing something. I'm trying to do amount test amount is less than 100 i'm throwing my own exception okay less than 100 is not sufficient like that i have specified Okay, so whenever you write your own exception, it has to be throw by someone, right? Custom exceptions should be thrown. JVM cannot understand. Suppose if it is arithmetic operation, illegal arithmetic operation, your JVM will understand that. 
because JVM knows what type of exception it has to throw. If it is a null pointer, JVM knows there is something called null point exception. If there is file not found, there is SQL exception, there is array index, so they're all aware by even JVM. See, having an amount less than 100 is not a illegal statement, right? Having amount less than 100 is not illegal statement. This is our condition. This is our exception. So, based on the condition, we have to use the throw keyword to throw an exception. Throw an exception. Okay. We are throwing an exception. When we throw an exception, that one will be handled in the try catch. Is this clear? Any questions? Let me execute this. I have my exception. I have a display method. I'm calling a test. I'm calling a test here if amount is less than 100 i'm throwing an exception less than 100 is not sufficient so i have throw this exception when i throw this exception this will get called this object right that is here this will be caught after this i'm calling a method here like how I did call yesterday, how I did call yesterday, a few things like print stack trace, get cause, how I did call them. Similarly, I'm calling my own method here, this method. Similarly, I'm calling my own method, this, or you can call anything. So, if I pass 150 here, you will not get any exception. Thank you. Result is 150. This is called custom exception. Please let me know if you have any doubt. Any questions? Is this clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Bishop. Yeah, are clear? Okay. So here we just created a class with only one method by extending exception um, we can we can call we can create any number of methods we can create any number of methods we can actually uh, based on our requirement we can create our own custom exception here i have given name as a my exception you can give any exception like that you can create any number of exception classes you can create any number of exception classes as i said if you have a custom exception it must to be thrown based on the based on some scenario some condition it must be thrown so uh, if i if we do not throw explicitly jvm cannot understand that jvm cannot understand or jvm cannot throw that 
okay jvm cannot understand or jvm cannot throw it so because if i say um, um if my amount is less than 100 as you as you take this exception this one your jvm cannot say that having less than 100 amount having less than 100 is not a illegal statement so jvm will never throw exception for that jvm will never throw an exception for that okay 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 so there is something called final keyword i think we didn't uh, Let me see whether I did. Wrong Java. Hmm. So there is something called final. Final. What is a final? Okay, let me put this. final demo this final in this also there in java and other programming languages final means it's fixed final means it is fixed you cannot you cannot change you cannot change you cannot inherit if it is a class you cannot inherit let's take a simple example so as we discussed earlier, we can override a variable. We can override a variable, right? Overriding. So overriding demo, you see here, I have a total, I have a salary, I have a overridden. I have a override, right? I'm doing a overriding, okay? So if I declare a final, Uh, let me take the same example. Because these these are already available in the other packages, so it will not allow. These classes are, names are already declared in other classes, other packages, or same package, so it will not allow to have. It will throw runtime exception. So if we look at here, I have a salary. If I say salary is final, like this. As soon as I mention final here, you see, 
value sal cannot be override final member cannot override final member it means if something is declared as a final it cannot be override okay not only variable not only variable if you declare a method if you declare a method that method cannot be override let's say calculate tech, calculate tax let's say final method let's say final this method you see here final you cannot override final override you cannot override the final members not only that if i declare for a class if i declare for a class if i declare for a class you cannot override the class you cannot override the class let's say if i remove for the final variable for this still we have an illegal inheritance from final class illegal inheritance from a final class it means you cannot you cannot you cannot create a child class for final classes the, normally the meaning of final is constant fixed final it's final it cannot be changed it cannot be overridden if it is a method if it is a variable you cannot be change or override if it's a final class you cannot create a child is clear uh ravi when we make a class final then all the objects and data members everything becomes final in under the class no no okay because if you like like, like say if i have a final class parent uh, and uh, we were trying but we cannot override the uh, cal text or unless 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 and until we inherit parent final into child final right that's true that's true mm -hmm. but these are not final no these yeah, are not yeah. final right mm -hmm. If declare so class is, uh, as a final, it doesn't mean. That. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean that the child, uh, the members will be final. No. Okay. 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 Let's make a note for the future reference because I'm I'm uploading into Git, so we will be. Similarly, final methods also. Similarly, final methods. Okay. These are the uh, final keyword. This is the this people may ask in interview about a final. Okay, about a final. Ravi, can you go back? One second. Can I'll just let it go. Go back means where? To yeah. 
I think we discussed about tuple also, right? Tuple. We discussed about tuple, right? Can anyone tell me what is a tuple? Tuple. I think it is the smallest unit of uh, data member in any no. any object. No. So we are defining a where we cannot modify it. Yeah. Try have a look once again, uh, Rishav. Tuples. It's the most important entry question. Tuple versus yeah, yeah. arrays. Tuple versus arrays. Tuple versus list. They will ask. Okay. We we'll discussed about tuples also. The only concept is left out is collections. So with that we can close our uh, uh, with that we can close our Scala. Okay. Okay. Let me explain companion object. We discussed about companion. Companion no. object. No. 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 Okay. It's also one of the important interview question. What is the companion object? What is the companion object? Okay. So, so far, uh, what we have seen, um, we have written a separate, uh, sub, uh, separate class name, separate, um, what I can say, separate uh, object name, right we have written a separate class name and separate object name and then we are trying to uh, create object for the class and we are making use of it yes or no yes or no guys so what we did so far we have created a separate class like employee and we our object also different our object also different saying like a uh, demo test like that we used to write and suppose if i want to access any methods from suppose if i want to access any methods from class i used to create an object for it i used to create an object for it then then i used to make use in the i used to make use in the object Okay, I think let me make you difference. This is class. This is object I'm talking about. Line number three, line number one nine, line number three and line number nineteen. Line number nineteen and line. so class and object. The normally they have a different different names. Normally they have a different names. When you say companion object companion object it means that object declared in the same same file as a class name class name see if you look at here companion demo your file name also companion demo your class also companion demo Look at the differences your class name your object name your file name everything is same everything is same so if you write like this if you write like this we will call companion object if you write like this we will call it as a companion object you guys following what i'm trying to say can you repeat it okay simply you can see here class name this is normally class will declare a class in the real time examples in the real time programs normally our class will be different file our object will be different file like this uh, let me show you somewhere here i may have a student class okay let me write here only suppose 
I want to create a car class. Okay. I want to create a car class. So normally I'll create in a different file. Different file. Look at the here. Different file. And I will be having my own methods here. Disk. I'll say print ln. I am from disk in car class. So like this, we will write different file for a class. Different file for a class. And we will write different object, different object file. Car demo, like different will create. Okay. Different files for a class, different file. For a object different file, we will create like this. Okay. So I will write a main method here. I'll write a main method here. Let's say I'm writing a main. I'm writing a main. So if I, suppose if I want to make use of the car class, what I will do val BMW equal to new car class. New car class. Then bmw dot disk i will call like this then if i run this program this is the traditional way to write right this is normally we write this is how we write i am from the disk in the car class so your cl car class will be different file and your car demo object will be in a different file these two are two different files yes or no guys These two different things. Now, now let me do one thing. Let me let me do one thing. Uh, here, the car class private private. Um, well, let me declare where speed equal to equal to 200. I just given something, some speed. It's a private. If I go to my car demo, if I go to my car demo, bmw dot can i access speed can i access speed yes can i access or not guys no no you cannot access it here to your it's private no into that uh, class so to get that we what need uh, get us So what is the what is the behavior of the private members? Uh, it is, is not visible to. It, it is not visible to other uh, objects. It is uh, uh, limited to the class itself, the, the where limited it is declared. So it's very much clear. I cannot access the private members of other class in other class or other object. Correct. But let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and do companion let's go ahead and do companion so the difference what you need to understand here in a single file the class name and object name should be same these two names are same look at here guys these two names are same two names are same okay and it has some private methods private variables and it has a private methods and private variables 
okay and non private variable also it is there and non private methods also it is there now now if you look at here i am able to access the i am able to access the private members and non private members since it is a companion you may say that sir you are writing in the same file that's the reason it is available do you guys remember our private text private uh, example earlier we discussed about a private uh, access modifier let me show you here also if you want i can show you class my private class if i have a variable let me take the same one only i don't want to get confused let me take the same Look at here, my private class. I have a three private members. I'm go ahead and create an object here. Val, my private. Uh, equal to new. Oh, this is class name. Oh, it's just one word. Small M is supposed to be capital. Okay. Problem. My private, look at here. Dot, can you see any of them visible? ID, salary, get salary, any of them visible? We cannot do. Even though they are in the same file, we cannot do them. It not allow even then the same file it not allow say this symbol is inaccessible from this place symbol is inaccessible from this place because they are private because they are private but if you go with the com companion if you go with the companion that kind of problem will not be there that kind of problem will not be there you can call private members you can use the private members not only that let's say in my object in my object i have something my specific uh, let's say read file okay the read file i have something here okay i have something here um, let's assume, let's assume that it's a private let's assume that it's a private okay or uh, let's assume that uh, private private path equal to where path equal to some path i have let's assume that some some file path c equal and d equal and something slash home slash uh, u101 say username let's assume that. slash uh, invoice slash Two zero one zero two zero dot csv. This is a file. Let's assume that this is a private. This is a private. Okay, you can you can access these two privates here also in this class also. Um, I'll just change this name. Okay, instead of apply, let's assume that I want to call read file. um companion companion dot read file i can read a private and also private methods companion dot path vice versa in the class if you have a private you can read an object if you have a private in object you can read in a class You got it what I'm trying to say, guys? Can you repeat it? Really? What do you want me to repeat? It's very simple and straightforward. Yes. I mean, which, which point you want me to repeat? If it uh, is a companion uh, object, 
let me put in a simple words if it is a companion object your class name and object name should be same your class name your object name should be same both should be in a same file both should be in a same file if if it is like that you can access the private methods i mean private members and member functions very simple Your, when we say companion object, your class name, your object name should be same and they should be in the same file. And if it is like that, private members of the class or private members of the object can be accessible either class or in the object. Both the places you can access. You got it or still confusion? Yeah, I got it. It's a very simple concept. Try to remember. This is the most important interview question. People may ask. Okay, people may ask. What is a companion object? Not only this, not only this. Um, you can also create objects without using new keyword. Okay, you can create objects using without using new keyword. Okay, but here I have used a new keyword. You can actually call or create an object without using new keyword. Let me show you that also. Or uh, let's say I'm creating list of list of um, companion object list. What I can say let me let this I will show this one different thing because. Let me show you a different companion object demo. Person, companion, person, companion. I'm going to create an object. Okay. Look at my. I'm, I'm trying to repeat it again same class as I said the class name the object name should be same okay and when you say class obviously you can have your own constructor here no you can have your own constructor let's say this constructor I have um, I'm, I'm having a constructor here with the var id var name uh. var they are expecting their data types also because we are going to declare a variables we should specify the data type also string okay so here here uh, this dot ID equal to ID this dot name equal to name or I'll keep in a different way okay don't get confused private 
I'll say PID, private ID. Okay, private ID. Where private ID equal to ID. So P name here name. It's a P income. It's an income. It's an income. Okay. So what I have done here, I have um, first three uh, variables I have created, which are private. Then I will make a method. This is also private method. Private this get person details. Person details. Okay. This is also private. This is just print the person details. That's it. Just print the personal details. So what it print is nothing. It will just print name is this ID ID or you can call this a PID private ID. Okay. Not is also called PID capital. Okay. It's a name. Name. Income. Income. Okay, now what I have here? One, a class with all private members. A class with all private members. Okay. Now, this is my person object. This is my person object. As we discussed earlier, if class name and your object name same, we'll call it as a companion object. We'll call it as a companion object. The first benefit what we get, we can access the private members. We can access the private members, right? Let me do that. Name, where, let's say Ravi, first member, new, person where I'll pass ID is one at one name is Ravi income is part this is one object I created after creating object as is as I told you I can access the private members as well as the private method member member functions both. Let me show you for the private members Ravi dot ID Ravi dot name P name not ID it's a PID P name private I'm trying to access a private income so let me put it here private member id are you following my gautami Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So if you don't, if it, if it's not a, if it is not a companion, you cannot access the private members. And also, I can also call my private. You can also call Ravi dot get person details. Even that's also private. That's also private. This is the one example I was trying to show you. In a companion object. The companion object you can access the private members private members next one is 
next one is let's say i'm going to create one more variable in this case we run person i really no need to use a new keyword i'm trying with that or not to you know but it is throwing application does not take parameters for this what we need to do here we have to write we have to write apply we have to write apply uh, apply method is not there diff apply So it has come on like this. Applies like a constructor. What it does like, it's automatically um it writes uh what i can say internally it writes its own um uh, what i can say like uh, it will take the variables and it will create an object so why it is showing uh, let me let me let me read my own way this apply Here, let me do one thing. Come like this. Because it's auto generated, that's the reason it is coming like errors. Otherwise, it will not give you any errors. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'll just remove them. Apply. When you write apply, what will happen? It will apply this. Okay. This is something. It's create object for us internally. Internally, we see this. It is returning. It is returning a new object. It's actually returning new object. Nothing else, right? So now, still, why it is giving an error? Let me write it in our own way. So instead of taking this. Uh, But this bad pd personal details equal to an assign like this pd dot. Okay. Specified value parameters. I take it out this one here.
still look the same unspecified ID name income pd dot id equal to id pd dot name equal to name pd dot income equal to income okay now I have to return a PD. PD is an object. PD is nothing but my object. Okay. Now, if I go at bottom, if I go at bottom, look at here, without using a new keyword, I'm able to create object. Without using a new keyword, I'm able to create object. Since applied, uh, apply method, since defined okay since defined apply method for companion 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 object no need to use new keyword object okay so this is the uh, advantage of com companion one is you, you can access the private members second is you can create objects without using new keyword right so these are the different kind of uh, advantages we get with the companion any questions Any questions? Any questions? See, not only these guys, okay? You can write apply like this any number of times with the different different parameters. Like uh, how you do you remember we have written a uh, uh, auxiliary constructor similarly you can write any number of times apply method okay so based on that how many how many ways you create or those many ways you can create objects okay any questions no questions no Ravi. okay so that's it for today uh, let's connect in the next session. Uh, we will be discussing uh, collections. So, because today I thought to start collections, but uh, the time is was not sufficient. So, I thought to cover the final and companion. So, both are also important for interview. So, we'll start collections in the tomorrow session. Okay. A little heads up now. Uh, it's not. It's a tentative. Tomorrow, uh, I'm flying to Bangalore from Hyderabad. So today actually my packers will come and I will be shifting the things. If I am wake up early, like uh, uh, in two o'clock, but my flight is uh, 12 o'clock, I mean uh, two o'clock. So I have to go there by at least 12. Um, if I complete everything and if I'm get good to take by eight, I'll take the session tomorrow. Else I'll take on uh, Monday. Uh, Ravi, anyway, I would the, suggest you to reach uh, uh, airport early. Yeah, that's actually they have uh, mentioned uh, yeah. reach uh, airport early, like um, two hours, yeah. two hours early. But flight is two o'clock. I'm just thinking to reach there by twelve. Anyway, I'll up update in the group. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thanks for your time. Uh, uh, Ravi, Go I ahead. need some help with IntelliJ actually. 
Okay. Can you uh, share quickly? So, yeah, yeah. Let sure. me make it present. Share the screen. Yeah, I'm sharing. Are you able to see now? No. What is this uh, saying that it is just started sharing? Yeah, no, yes. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, I'm getting error at this print LN and it is asking me to put some configuration over here. Uh, this, this is all I have reported from your uh, GitHub repository. So if I like, so this is the first time you're doing you have not did did this. No, no. Give me control. Um the first program you're doing? So far you didn't do the programs? No, no, I did, but uh, I had another repository for that actually. Uh not repository that uh, okay. okay, okay. Um project is here. I have uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go to settings. I'll just click on setup as scala SDK. You see, there is something called setup scala SDK. The top right. Yeah. In the top top right. Click on mm -hmm. that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the location. This is the. Uh, yeah, okay. Click on okay. No problem. Yeah, no, it caught is all. Uh, also, one more uh, thing the, the projects here, oh, we have like I have two repo uh, this project uh, folders. So, can I get both the folders in under the same window or I have to use two IntelliJ? I didn't get so this. Is, this is so, yeah, so this is the one uh, this uh, uh, this project folder. Okay. So uh, uh, under this project folder, I have imported from the your uh, repository, Git uh -huh. repository. So there is another one that I have made for practicing purpose. Okay, you want to open both the projects in single window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, give me control. Okay, what gives you control? Click on my name and just uh, share keyboard mouse something in the On my name, Scala. It is not uh, giving me that. Uh, let me go to settings. No, you have you are accessing you are accessing web. No, I'm using that app. Dot go to meeting. Dot uh, this. Oh, that's a web only. No, you are not you are not downloaded the app, right? No, 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 no. So you cannot give a control. You cannot give a you cannot give a control. So. How to uh, yeah. download that app? Um, okay, let me do one thing. No, no, no need to download. Go to your uh, IntelliJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a Maven, huh? I don't. don't have no, a Maven. Yeah, I think okay. in, in my uh, other folder I have. No, no. In the right side, you see ant. The right side, you see there is something ant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similarly, there is something called Maven. Okay. So if you click on Maven, uh, that's also Maven project you can add. So I don't know why the Maven is not coming for you. You have installed Maven in your local. You didn't install. I don't think I have installed that. I've just installed the IntelliJ thing. Uh, I suppose. Uh, can you that quickly? By default. But anyway, no, that's not real. No problem. So this is the different application. That's a different application. You open the two intelligences. You can open the two intelligences. Okay. Go to file. Go to file. Go to file. File mm -hmm. file. Yeah. Open. Click on open recent. Open recent. Open recent. Fourth option. Cancel it. There is an open recent option. 
the file menu select your oh, project uh, i think well, that is a hand on one yeah your project so name if i click on this window it will like come below this no, folder or it will it will not come it will override it open the window okay. so you will be having New both window. or open okay so you will be both intelligent both intelligent sir but i have maven here see yeah click on maven yeah click on maven yeah 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 uh, i clicked click there is a plus there is a plus symbol yeah click there is a plus symbol click click there and select that uh, whatever you have downloaded mm. from my repository you downloaded right where is that yeah yeah uh i think i would have put it under downloads let me check through yeah here i have all the things under here move down oh. move down still move down there is something called form.xml yeah select it the form.xml okay click okay yeah that is done so now if i go click and okay. open this yeah i clicked okay yeah. no, no, no. no it should come here okay it should come here on second i think it, it is running thing it's loading it see, is at, see at the bottom okay it is bottom. running yeah 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 once it yeah. is done it will you will be able to see that mm -hmm. okay yeah, and what is this add configuration i mean is it something related to it is asking me here and uh, uh, this add configure uh, configuration i get only in this uh, this wherein i'm using your repository but i don't get it here so it is in, still it's happening let it happen let it complete once okay. it is complete you got it you know Scala seven ten, you got it? Yeah, yeah. So I've got this and I've got hands on both these folders. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Now oh, where is your location? Okay, uh, so Ravi, if you want me to show you uh, like how to upload that videos. See, for now, anyway, this uh, this drive is going to complete. Okay, so okay, okay. see, let uh, what I'm trying to say. It's by default, it'll give 15 GB. Okay, mm -hmm, with, mm -hmm. with the today's upload, I think it will be completed. So when I upload, okay. uh, when I create a new uh, new these things, I will sh I'll share with you. Okay. That's a Google account credentials I have to give. So mm -hmm, once mm -hmm. the, this, but when, once I create a new, uh, what I can say, drive, I'll see. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because yesterday it got too late actually in night or so. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Earlier it was not right. So the last few days yeah, because yeah, yeah. the, uh, since I'm moving out of this, so I didn't take the connection network connection. I'm connecting from mobile. Initially mm -hmm. there was some problem, so. I don't want to uh, fix the problem and get it. So anyway, the problem is there. I just ask them to disconnect. So they disconnect. Okay, okay, no issues. So in Bangalore, if you go Bangalore now, there is an ACT ACT company. If Hello. You know. One second, Dishak. Yeah. Ah, uh, bully me.
Yeah, Rishi. Ravi, uh, how can we do this? Uh, I don't see your screen. Yeah, yeah, just a minute. Some share have shared. Uh, are you able to see? Yeah. I don't see that app uh, from where I can download the app. No, that app will not work in the uh, Ubuntu. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this just Local. one more help. Uh, one more help that I want to. Uh, Java. Version. So actually, uh, Java, I have two Java versions and I just want only one. Um, you have only one version only, right? No, no, this is the one that I'm using. Uh, I set it to default. Uh, we have no, that wait, command. Not to... only one. No, 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 this is, uh, this is the one that I have set it as default. Actually, there's a way we can yeah, have two versions like, of. See, anyway, you already set it. One is a default, right? Let it be that only. No? I want to remove one uh, Java actually, because I have this Namura application. I mean, my company application and it is picking the other version of it. See, what is that other version? Uh, which one is 11, 11. No, 11 will not work with the Hadoop. Yeah, yeah. So, so actually, this is one. picking uh, eleven actually, and uh, I have one pointer that is eight version, no? Uh, so you look so, at that uh, uh, settings or something in uh, this uh, this application. So, um, let's see. If you start removing this, it will it will give you a problem. That's the reason I'm I'm not suggesting. Okay, okay. Because eleven, I'm not uh, using okay. anywhere. Uh, that's what I'm not really sure how to remove that. Okay. So even okay, I have okay. to do the Google update. Yeah. So but no, no while removing that there is a possibility another one can go. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, Ravi. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Bye.